The first and hardest hit by climate change are the rural poor women from around the world. They spend hours and days fetching kerosene, candles, and wood for lighting and cooking. Millions of dollars have been spent on raising awareness, top-down training of engineers in alternative technologies. But often, these benefits fail to reach the rural communities they were intended to help. One success story is that of India's Barefoot College. Following a bottom-up approach, the Barefoot College in India has trained hundreds of semi-literate and illiterate women, many of them grandmothers from villages in Asia and Africa, to become solar engineers. The women from all the countries arrive at the Barefoot College, where they live and train for six months. After being trained, these women have gone back home to establish electronic workshops, install solar panels and batteries, maintain and repair them, and change life in their remote villages forever. Moreover, they have trained others in neighboring villages to do the same. In many developing countries, rural villages are often cut off from the main power grids. Connecting them to mains energy is often too expensive, making this centralized system an ineffective solution for these poor communities. Decentralized photovoltaic systems are a much more viable, sustainable and cost-effective solution. The Barefoot College in Thelonia, India is the collective effort of many barefoot professionals and one of the founders is Bunker Roy. The college began in 1972 with the conviction that the solutions to the problems of the rural poor lie within the community itself. In the mixture of the traditional knowledge and skills along with new technologies that simply require some adapting to their specific situations. You have to actually develop the people to do it themselves so that they could then replicate it on a large scale. Your job is to facilitate, your job is to spark it off and then let it fly on its own. And it has flown. We make a big mistake by bringing in technology first and then thinking of training afterwards. You should sensitize the community first to technology. The 80,000 square feet college complex stands as a testimony to this potential. It was designed and built by barefoot architects with locally sourced materials using traditional knowledge passed down from one generation to the next and is the only fully solar electrified college in India today. Barefoot College started training young people and semi-literate and illiterate rural women to be solar engineers in the 1990s. At the beginning, the trainees came from all over India. जो महिलाएं अलग-अलग भाषा होती है सभी की जो आने वाली महिलाएं होती है उनको प्रैक्टिकली हम उनको सिखाते हैं जैसे कलर कोडिंग सिखाना है तो रेजिस्टेंस का कलर कैसे पहचानना है उसका वैल्यू कितना है प्रैक्टिकली उनका लैंग्वेज में हम जो कलर कोड उसका लिख के उसके बारे में बताते हैं उनको और प्रैक्टिकली उनके सामने करते हैं कि किस तरह से सोल्डरिंग करना है पहले हम खुद करते हैं वो देखते हैं फिर उनके हाथों से वो करते हैं To date, barefoot solar engineers have installed solar photovoltaic home lighting systems and fabricated and produced solar lanterns across 10 states of India. 350 villages have benefited and a total number of 12,000 households have been solar electrified. <laughs> यो मां के घर के मैं अंदर है उजाले उठा तो रोटी टुकड़ो बना हुआ कि मजबूरी आ जावे तो ये चानन जोर में बेटर बना लिया खाना खा लिया आराम से बाल बिच्छन आराम से बिचा के सोन दिया यही को स्वार्थ है साब मां के The college has many villages from which to choose but for solar projects to work and last the villagers themselves must also make a commitment Once the villagers have signed on for the project the committee guides them to select the women for solar engineering training in Thelonia. The college soon realized the best candidates were middle-aged women, most of whom were grandmothers. During their six months of training, the women are taught by other semi-literate and illiterate women to set up sophisticated charge controllers and inverters without using the written word, to install solar panels and link them to batteries, to fabricate solar lanterns, and to establish a local electronic workshop where they can carry out all major and minor repairs to the solar power systems themselves. शुरुआत हम सोलर में आए थे तो बहुत परेशानी आई थी मेरे को सीखने के लिए कि इन चीज का ये नाम है इन चीज का ये नाम है तो घर वालों ने बोला कि कुछ मेहनत करेगी तो सब सीख सकती है नहीं मेहनत करेगी तो क्या सीखेगी 
फिर मैंने सोचा कि हम मेहनत क्यों नहीं दिमाग लगा सकते हैं ये तो सीखती है तो हम क्यों नहीं सीखते हैं तो फिर क्या विदेश से मेला है ना इनको देख के बोला कि ये तो अपनी भाषा में नहीं सीख सकती है तो बोल नहीं सकती है नहीं सीख सकते तो हम तो सीखेंगे फिर मेरी रुचि बन बन गई सीखने के लिए फिर मैंने सीख लिया अभी मैं बना सकती हूँ और ट्रेनिंग देती हूँ बस साल भर होगी मेरे को सीखी हुई Because of the Barefoot Challenge, more than 19,000 rural homes have been solar electrified across 750 villages of 19 countries by 471 semi-literate barefoot solar engineers. This has led to a total saving of 100,000 liters of kerosene per month. Poor village communities can run solar units on their own if they are trained to install the solar equipment at the village level as well as repair and maintain it. These illiterate rural women have demonstrated that this is possible. I want to show through the Barefoot College the futility and the irrelevance of the formal educational system today. You are not training people in these very elitist schools and colleges to serve society at large because you are mentally preparing them to go outside the country or stay in urban areas my aspiration is to have a barefoot college everywhere in the world <laughs>